electricity plays an important role in our daily lives, but the electricity system today is changing and evolving. Due to rising concerns about global warming and environmental concerns, renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power are being added to our system. Now, the major challenge arising from their integration is to control their highly variable, unpredictable, and intermittent output. Due to these issues, the output of renewable energy sources cannot be properly utilized. In China, in one year alone, over 34 billion kilowatt hours of renewable energy was lost. That could have powered 8.6 million homes. To, adre to address these important issues, energy storage systems become crucial for integrating renewable energy sources. So my thesis is concerned with compressed air energy storage, which unlike batteries, can store large amounts of energy for longer durations. In compressed air energy storage, the excess electricity is converted into compressed air and stored underground in salt mines or caverns. And when the electricity is required, the compressed air underground is converted back to electric power. Now, the technology may sound like more Flintstones than Jetsons, but it is a proven technology. Now, the only barrier in constructing such a plant is to find a suitable geology. But that's not the case in Saskatchewan because of the presence of salt and potash mines. So my thesis focuses on first, developing an accurate and detailed model of such a system. Second, using that model to design and develop an optimal decision-making tool to operate the power system. And third, to use fast solution techniques to solve that problem. Now, the initial studies have indicated that this kind of storage system cannot only solve the mitigation, cannot only solve the intermittency of the renewable energy sources, but can also provide other various benefits to the power system. For example, the reliability of electric system was improved by 38%. The wind curtailment was reduced by over 90%, and all of this was achieved with an increase of operational cost of $0.1 million. Now, the optimal decision-making tool that have been designed in this research can help the power utility, such as SAS power, to operate their system with higher efficiency. Renewable energy sources is not the future anymore. It's happening now. With this research, I'm hoping to contribute a little towards achieving the aim of having sustainable electricity system and hence sustainable future. Thank you.